It is a beautiful night for football in Nashville, Tennessee, on the campus at Brentwood Academy High School. Brent Doherty, Drew Clark with you on the broadcast. And, Drew, you couldn't ask for better weather for a football game between two big rivals. Absolutely. And, and if you're CPA, there's two reasons you got to be on your game tonight. Number one, BA is a solid football team just coming off a loss last week right here. Number two, we all know what happened last year. BA goes into the den, loses on the one-yard line on the last play. They're looking for revenge tonight. Brentwood Academy lost to ELCA last night, uh, last week. 50 to 49 in overtime on a two point conversion. CPA, meanwhile, beat Independence at home 42 to 24. They will receive in the all white headed from left to right. Thomas Vaccaro will be the quarterback, and he'll wear number 45 tonight. We'll explain why momentarily as we get set for kickoff. The head referee tonight, Billy Fellman, has been doing this a long, long time. Met with James Wilhoyt before the game, the kicking coordinator for Brentwood Academy. Loves where his special teams unit is, and we are ready to go. Packed house here at Brentwood Academy. As a matter of fact, I had to park on the other side of Franklin Road. Dodge traffic, a little game of Frogger on the way over here, and we are now ready for kickoff. As the ball comes angling down the field, that's going to go deep into the end zone. Trey will not be able to field that. And as we said, Thomas Vaccaro, who normally wears number five, will wear number 45 tonight, honoring Trip Lodge. Yeah, Trip Lodge went down last week on a fourth and goal. Little ACL tear there. And we're, we're prayers up for Trip and his family. And we know he's a great kid. And tonight we'll see Thomas Vaccaro repping his number. Thomas Vaccaro is the quarterback. Joshua Marinick, number 24, will be the running back. 14 carries last week, 117 yards and a touchdown. Also had 97 kick return yards, so over 200 yards of total offense. And Marinick takes the fake, and Vaccaro slings it outside, short of the first down, but positive yardage to London Humphreys on first. Yeah, good play right there, getting Thomas Vaccaro involved early. Looked like B.A. was looking for the run after the big week last week from Josh Marinick. London Humphreys committed to Vanderbilt. Two receptions last week. Both went for touchdowns, 55 yards. Vaccaro on second down and five. Takes the handoff again. Quick hit or drop. Yeah, look Trey, at Brown. Trey Brown. Yeah. The senior, number 13, upset with himself on that one. It'll be third down and five. Ran into Darren Brown before the game. Big play early here for CPA. Big third down, and last week it was a big third down and 10 conversion to Bo Burklow that got things going. Marinick beside Vaccaro. B.A. showing blitz. Here's a quick throw to Dre Evans. It's incomplete. Great play by Isaiah Kane, who is an unbelievable athlete. Just five foot seven, 158, but drew nine tackles. Had an interception, returned it 81 yards last week. Absolutely, and he just blew up that play right there. Throw might have been a little low, but the defense definitely broke that one up. London Humphreys back to kick. Casey Kalmas, number 24, is back deep. Humphreys, here comes the rush. He gets it off a high kick down the middle of the field. Kalmas will call and make a fair catch. At the 37-yard line, so a three and out for CPA's offense. And Brentwood Academy will trot its offense onto the field, led by sophomore quarterback George McIntyre. Six foot six, 180 pounds. Now, was yeah, B.A. is a lot bigger up front than C.P.A., so this will be interesting to see who, who wins the line of scrimmage here. And what C.P.A. tries to do defensively. Do you just rush three? Do you bring linebackers? George McIntyre last week, 24 of 33 in his first career start, 296 yards and three touchdowns. Grandfather is legendary Vandy coach George McIntyre. His uncle, Mike McIntyre, the head coach at Florida International. McIntyre back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Now we'll run. Only carried the ball one time last week. Runs out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Gain of about seven, which is what he ran the ball for last week. One carry, seven yards. 
Good pocket presence there. He's got offers from Michigan, Ole Miss, and Vandy, among others. Quick set here. McIntyre, give goes the running back up the middle, close to a first down at the 48-yard line. That's Deuce Scott, number 40, 22 carries, 95 yards, and three touchdowns last week. At the bottom of your screen, you got Barnes, receiver number six, had a, also had a fantastic week last week. McIntyre, quick throw to the sideline. CPA trying to converge. Nice gain on first down for Brentwood Academy. That was number 11, Meyer Pereira, as BA will go no huddle. Give goes the running back. There's a hole up the middle across the 40 inside the 35-yard line. That's Deuce Scott, six foot, 195-pound senior, carrying CPA defenders down to the 33. First four plays, we're seeing BA's offensive line having its way with this smaller defensive line for CPA. Davis Green, 6'3, 240. Andrew Peterson, 6'4, 275. Graham Gilmer, 6'4, 281. McIntyre back to throw, complete. That's number 89, Griffin Crop, to finish out the offensive line. The right guard, Jabari Simmons, 6'1, 267. He's the sh shortest offensive lineman. And Hank Weber, 6'4, 250, a junior. BA moving quickly. McIntyre. Give goes the running back. Inside the 20, inside the 15. That's Deuce Scott. Close to another first down at the 13-yard line, and they'll give it to him. B.A. moving rapidly down the field. C.P.A. trying to sub, and they get it done. There's a fake to the running back, and C.P.A. with a little better defense there as Dre Evans gets over and makes the play. Had five tackles last week. Yeah, we saw the same thing last week. Independence was able to get some success in their running game early, and so... B.A. is getting the same thing going here in the first quarter. It's number six, Jordan Barnes, his first catch of the year. McIntyre, give goes to Scott, looking for a hole. Just getting that push, Drew, up the middle with that big offensive line down to the six. Absolutely. B.A. is going to try to tire out the smaller defensive line all night. That does set up a third down. McIntyre moving quickly. I think number 40 right here. He'll get it. Deuce Scott looking for room inside the five. Spins his way down to the three. Has a first down and goal at the one-yard line. We saw a big goal line stand last week. Lions is trying to repeat that right here. Again, the triangle. Peterson, Gilmer, Simmons, the center and two guards just blowing through the CPA defensive line. Deuce Scott up the middle. I don't know. I think he's short. He is short. Number six, Whit Stout in there. Better get lined up quickly because B.A.'s moving. Second and goal inside the one-yard line. Give goes Scott again. He's hitting the backfield but breaks the tackle and gets into the end zone. So Brentwood Academy marches down the field easily and gets on the board first. Yeah, and that's just the offensive line. They, they won the line of scrimmage just about every play that drive and easily get into the end zone. A one-yard touchdown run by Deuce Scott. Gives Brentwood Academy the early lead. On to attempt the extra point is George Laster, who was up for Mr. Football last year. Wow. And the kick is up and good. Very strong leg right there. So Brentwood Academy strikes first, and with 8.39 left in the first quarter, B.A. leads 7 to nothing. I'll tell you this, that quarterback does not look like a sophomore. No, he does not. And he's got some big-time offers as well, and I think CPA is going to need to make this offense one-dimensional here uh, next time they're on defense. They need to stop that run. London Baronis is the punter on this team. He also handles kickoff duties. 
He is the son of former Titan kicker Rob Baronis. A talented sophomore pushing towards Laster in camp, but Laster winning the field goal battle. Rob was a great one, man. Missing. Baronis will kick off from the near hash. First one went into the end zone. The second one goes through the end zone. Dre Evans had no chance to return that one, and CPA will run its offense back onto the field, and you had a point in this game already where you need to string together some first downs. Absolutely, three and out early in the game. I expect them to try to get the hands in number, or the ball in the hands of number 21 right here. That is London Humphreys. Thomas Vaccaro, again, wearing number 45 for Trip Lodge. Eight of 10 last week, 122 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Vaccaro, give goes to the running back. Joshua Marinick, not much up the middle. Gain of about two. As Leroy Harris, the third, was in the game, running in motion. Shotgun formation with Stout in at tight end. London Humphreys at the bottom of your screen. Vaccaro, screen pass, Dre Evans trying to get the ball in the hands of number one. Spin move at the 25 and then dumped at the 26. It'll be third down and four. Good pursuit. And there's that guy again, Isaiah Kane. Yeah, BA's defense looks very confident early. They're flying to the ball. I like the effort to get the ball in the hands of number one. Makes one guy miss, but Kane comes over quickly. Third down, Marinick in the backfield. Vaccaro with some noise coming from the student section, which is right at the line of scrimmage for Brentwood Academy. Burklow in motion. Strong side now on the left side of the formation. Give goes to Marinick up the middle, and there's nothing there. No gain. Brentwood Academy thinking punt, and here comes the special teams unit. So two possessions, no first downs for CPA. Some issues with the NFHS feed, so glad you were able to find us on YouTube as the punt comes down. Fair catch. Called for and made. He drops it, but picks it up at the 45-yard line. Yeah, B.A. is going to have great field possession for their second possession of the game, and this is a big possession for the CPA defense. They're going to need to win the battle at, this, at, at the line and try to keep them out of the end zone and get the student section out of the game. In terms of recruiting, Brentwood Academy with Hank Weber, we mentioned him, 6'4", 230, three-star Athlete number 20 ranked player in the state has offers from Coastal Carolina, which is where Bo Burklow is headed. North Carolina, Michigan State, Kentucky, Ole Miss, and Vanderbilt, among others. We'll get you more in just a minute. Another tough run. Cruz Law coming up to make the stop. About a three-yard gain on that play. They've got Andrew Peterson. You mentioned on the offensive line, 6'5", 280. Offers from Arkansas State, Eastern Kentucky, Marshall, and Toledo. Graham Gilmer, the center. 6'4", 285, offered from Arkansas State. And there goes number three around the edge. He's got room, 45, 40, 35, 30. Finally taken down as Isaiah Kane gives the football, is able to turn the corner and get inside the 30 to the 28. Just able to seal the right side of that. Offensive line, the left side of the CPA defense. McIntyre back to throw, has time. Fires deep down the field, incomplete. Bracket coverage there on Kane. That's As a win for CPA, absolutely. They get a little bit of a breather after BA's been moving super fast on the run game. Yep, Riley Gregory over there from his safety spot. Had four tackles last week. McIntyre now on second down and 10. 
Deuce Scott back in the game at running back. Scott will get it. Carving his way, pushing his way inside the 25 to the 24. Gain of about four, and this is a big third down. Absolutely. They'll run Bo Burklow back into the game, trying to take away the run up the middle. McIntyre, wide receiver screen, has room, 25, 20. Close to a first down. I think short, though, Drew. Yeah, not a generous spot there. Charlie Ellis moving from the defensive line all the way over to the side of the field. It'll be fourth down and one. Looks like Bay will keep the offense on the field. Hudson Chance, number 12, also involved at outside linebacker. Leroy Harris at third. Man-to-man -man coverage up top. There's the hard count. CPA doesn't fall for it. Fourth down and one. Ten on the play clock. Scott moving to McIntyre's right side. CPA showing blitz. McIntyre runs a little option play. Scott on the edge is stood up at the line of scrimmage. Did he get there? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. CPA holds. Hudson Chance, number 12. Bo Burklow, number 16. And CPA's defense needed that. Fantastic job on the outside, getting around those blocks and making a big tackle on the big number 40. Look at number nine, Riley Gregory in there too. But Hudson Chance staying at home. They, they hoped that he would get up the field, maybe attack the quarterback. He didn't do it. So CPA takes over, first down and 10. Vaccaro back to throw, looking. Has room to run if he wants it. Across the 20, the 25, now heads to the sideline, close to a first down. t with a nice move there. Gain of about nine. Great play, improvising after there's nobody open. So he was able to get outside and get very close to the first down. Good block by Trey Brown on the edge. And Vaccaro picks up nine out to the 28. CPA still looking for its first first down. 4.32 to go first quarter. Burklow getting in the mix too. Marinick the running back, three receivers to the right side of the formation. Vaccaro back to throw. Combo route down at the bottom. He's going to run again. He's going to have a first down. It slides down at the 32-yard line. Pick number 45 with the first first down for CPA. I'll tell you what, the coverage is, is excellent right now for BA's defense. Nobody seems to be open. Brentwood Academy zoning it out on defense in the secondary. Now they come up. Bracket coverage on London Humphreys. You've got the corner up top with a little press bail action. The safety is 100% watching him. Absolutely. Give goes to Marinick, looking for some room on the left side, finds two yards out to the 34. Appreciate Scott Holmes coming up with rosters and stats and depth charts for us from the Brentwood Academy side of things this week. Two receivers either side, Vaccaro. Back to throw, quick out to Trey Evans on the sideline. They say incomplete. Sets up third down and eight. Another big third down and just like you said, last game, this is, this is kind of the exact same situation where they got Bo Burklow and the offense just exploded after that. Trey caught two balls last week. He has one already tonight. Marinick on the field. Trey Brown, Trey Brown, London Humphreys at the bottom of your screen. Dre Evans at the top of your screen. Burklow lined up in the slot on the left. Brentwood Academy, three down linemen. Here they come, they're blitzing. Quick throw the sideline. There was a hit, was it early? They say no, Dre wanted the pass interference call. They don't get it. It'll be fourth down and eight. Could have gone either way there. Humphreys will kick. Number 24, Kaysen Kalmas is back deep. 
5'11", 186 pound senior. Here is the kick, another good one by Humphreys making Kalmas run. He does not call fair guys this time and will be snowed under by Gang in white. Great coverage there by CPA's defense. I see big number 10, Reed Madden, getting involved in the mix there. Reed had a great game last week. Absolutely he did. He, he, a lot of the reason that Independence couldn't get outside to the sidelines was Reed Madden and Easton Dillard holding the edges. So three punts to start with for the CPA offense. Again, Steve Haywood is coaching the game tonight. Talk to Ingle Martin, who is in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, with his son Wright. The Nolensville Little Leaguers will play for the United States National Championship tomorrow at 2.30 on ESPN. Whistle sound, Billy Fellman. We call him the white hat, the head referee, trying to identify what's going on. 2.56 to go in the first quarter. They're asking the people in the end zone to move back. You mentioned it before the game, standing room only crowd here. I'll tell you this, the sixth grade CPA team played a jamboree here, and we watched from over there, across the field, on the upper level of the basketball facility. There are a few people over there. I, I just, uh, I don't know that a lot of people know about that. I'll tell you what, it's a great crowd tonight. Yeah. McIntyre, shotgun formation. Deuce Scott, the running back. McIntyre pulls it out, looking. Good coverage downfield, now fires to the far sideline, and it's caught. Very patient job by George McIntyre, number 11, Meyer Pereira with his second catch of the evening. Flag down. It's coming back. As a holding call, he wondered why he had so much time, and it's number 51, Preston Finucan who draws the hold, he turned his back on the offensive lineman, and that'll get called every time. So that is a huge play. Huge. What would have been a first down in CPA territory is now first down and a long way because that is a spot foul. It's not a 10-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. Absolutely, and the field possession is completely flipped. First down and 27, setting up a screen. Scott is hit at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Beautiful play by Cruz Law, number 11, to get over there and read that thing out. He had nine tackles last week. Absolutely, and it, it looks like CBA's defense has found its rhythm here after giving up a really fast touchdown on the first possession. Witt Stout up front. Preston Fadukin, Charlie Ellis. Here goes Deuce Scott up the middle out to the 30-yard line. They give him the 31. It'll be third down and 21. Interesting play call on second and 27 there. Got a history of big time offensive linemen here with Scott Wells, Bubba Miller, among others. McIntyre back to throw, being pressured. Wilt witched out chasing him. He runs toward the sideline, now fires incomplete. Great job by McIntyre to keep his eyes down the field, but great coverage by CPA. Yeah, I mean, McIntyre had a lot of time once again, but that coverage is perfect and was able to force him out of the pocket eventually and throw the incompletion. Just got a picture from the Nolensville Barracks where they're all watching. Good luck, boys. We love you. Brentwood Academy on to punt for the first time tonight. London Baronis, 5'11", 177-pound sophomore. Again, the son of Titans legendary kicker Rob Baronis. And that is a beautiful spiral down the field. Ball bounces at the 15. Taken there and dropped. At the 17-yard line, that's Dawson Marrero. London Baronis outkicked his coverage, but it didn't matter. He outkicked... Dawson Marrero as well. So CPA with the football again, but inside its own 20. 
got to get something going offensively. Brentwood Academy has done a good job of muddying things up up front, making it hard for that run game to get going. Flying to the football on the edges. Number three, Kane, has been all over the field. See Dawson in that running back on this possession. Number four stays in. Brentwood Academy looking to pressure the strong side. They do it. Vaccaro, play fake. Here comes a long throw to the sideline, caught by Evans at the 26. That was a heck of a throw because that was a long way to get it to Evans. Absolutely. And great protection by the offensive line on that play. See number 44, Brock Bettingfield. This is a sophomore. Vaccaro fakes the handoff again, fires, and that was a hot one to Trey Brown. Falls incomplete. It'll be third down and short. Yeah, throw just a little high there for Brown to handle. He took a big hit on that one. Vaccaro trying to get it to him quickly, just elevated the throw a little bit. There's Easton in at running back. Yeah, Easton Dillard in. He had one carry for four yards last week. Number 14, Reed Shanks in at the bottom of your screen. Two tight end set. Both on the left side of the formation. Changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Five on the play clock. t -back. Give goes the running back. Out across the 30. Great second effort by Easton Dillard. And he'll have CBA second first down out to the 32-yard line. Well, there's nothing there initially when Dillard got the ball and he was able to wait on his offensive line to open up a hole and dive in there and get the first down. Deuce here for it. Five, nine and a half, 318. Trying to clog it up in the middle. They did a good job of getting him blocked, and Easton Dillard read it, bounced it, picked up the first down. 26 seconds left, first quarter. Vaccaro, give goes the running back. There's some room, 35. That's Easton Dillard out to the 37. And he'll have a gain of five on the last play of the first quarter here at Brentwood Academy. Through one quarter of play, the score, Brentwood Academy 7, CPA nothing. We'll be right back on the CPA YouTube network. Brent Doherty, got my guy Drew with us, Drew Clark. And we're ready for second quarter play. It is second down and five after the run by Easton Dillard. Brentwood Academy coaches are up here. We're, we're actually above the press box in the catbird seat as a penalty marker comes down on the hard count, and that is an offsides on Brentwood Academy. There you go. There's another first down right there. Such a game of momentum. And it feels Absolutely. like CPA is getting a little bit of it now. Yeah, I mean, after that first possession, it, it, it has really felt like CPA has been kind of getting their rhythm going, getting back into the game. First down and 10 from the 42-yard line, CPA with Thomas Vaccaro, again wearing number 45 tonight in honor of Trip Lodge, who was injured last week.
Vaccaro. High snap. He fields it and takes takes a knee, basically. TVAC doing a good job of getting up and getting that ball secured. Dawson Marrero in the game at running back, so we haven't seen Joshua Marinick in a minute. Loss of three, second down and 13. Brentwood Academy with a late sub. CPA sub, so they're allowed to do it. Now they're ready. TVAC, second down and 13. Fakes the handoff, he'll run across the 40, slides down the 45 yard line. Makes that a more manageable third down situation. Absolutely, he got back to the original line of scrimmage, a little past the original line of scrimmage, and now CPA is gonna have to get something going here on third down. This is another big third down. This is the third one so far. CPA has punted three times tonight. Easton Dillard, the running back, number two. London Humphreys at the bottom of your screen. Trey Brown, I believe, up top. TVAC on third down. Here comes the blitz. He fires. Humphreys is open at the 45 of Brentwood Academy. It steps out at the 43, first down. And you see the respect from the Brentwood Academy secondary on number 21. Absolutely. And another good throw by Thomas Vaccaro. That's another long throw across his body. And that was a great catch. And that's a big first down. Picking on the sophomore, number 23, Colby Hamilton. Going away from Isaiah Kane. Here's a fired ball across the middle. Trey Brown standing himself up inside the 35 with a first down to the 32. What a catch and throw. That was a rocket out of the hands of Thomas Vaccaro right there. First down and 10 at the Brentwood Academy 33-yard line. Marinick now back in the game at running back. It's good to see. Now you've got this Kane and Humphreys matchup. Absolutely. At the bottom of your screen. Vaccaro on first and 10. CPA moving the ball with the wind. Fakes the handoff. Here's another out route, and Kane breaks it up. What a play by number three. Great coverage. Great coverage there on London Humphreys. There's a flag Five, down. 5'7", 158, Isaiah Kane. There is a flag down. We'll see what it is. Looks like it may be on CPA. I mentioned the sophomore Colby Harmon. 5'10", 165 pounds, plays running back, also has offers from Kentucky and Michigan already. Just a sophomore, 5'10", 177. So illegal man downfield is the call. They're trying to figure out where to spot the ball. They'll walk it back up to the 38-yard line where it'll be first down and 15. So that works out a little bit better than what a hold would have been. B.A. coming up against the run. Meredith trying to get outside. There's not much room there, and he'll be taken down the 40-yard line. That's great defense holding the edge there on Joshua Marinick. He's quick, but they were able to pull the edge and force him in where he had help. A.J. Barbetta, junior, number five, 6'1", 200-pound linebacker. And as you watch the replay, you see their linebackers all drifting in looking for that run play. You'll see Steve Haywood go back to that, pull it out, play fake it across the middle of the field. Vicaro, screen pass set up. Marinick gets a block, 35, 30. Inside the 30, down to the 27-yard line, and Steve Haywood will have a decision to make here on fourth down. Great blocking on the edge. Says third CBA. down, here we go. Yep, keeping the offense on the field. Oh, it's third down. It's My third. Bad. Yep, third down and four. Vaccaro back to throw. Across the middle of the field, ball is tipped and caught. Bo Burklow, number 16, with a huge catch at the 15-yard line. First down, Lions. We've seen that before. Big third down catch there by number 16. 
He, he got hit pretty hard too. That was great concentration once again. Yeah, there was a goofball play-by-play -play man last week that said that he was committed to Western Carolina. <laughs> it's Coastal Carolina. I did hear about it, and rightfully so. Sorry, Bo. Made up for it by talking about you on the zone today. There's a great play by the Brentwood Academy defense. And that's number seven, Richard Griffin. 5'11", 194-pound senior outside linebacker. Yeah, we saw that last week with Cruz Law taking the snap. And that was a big touchdown run last week. And this time, B.A. saw it, and they knew it was coming. That is the first non-touchdown run by Cruz Law this year. That is ridiculous. He had three touchdowns last game. Three carries, 48 yards, and three scores. Second down at 12. Similar formation. Cruz Law looking for room at the 15. Dives under a tackler to the 11. That's number six, Richard Barnes again. Excuse me, Jordan Barnes. And check that ball at the 11 yard line. Yeah, Thomas third will down. come back out here on third down. CPA leaning on that big offensive line. John Wayne Oliver with a great seal block that time. Preston Panukin on the left side. Brady Smith, the sophomore at center. Charlie Ellis and Rocco Abignaro. Third down. Six yards to go. Brentwood Academy looks like they're dropping back. Nope, here they come. Here come the linebackers. Vicaro rolling to his right. Nothing there. Trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. And he'll be taken down just outside the 11. Fourth down. And what do you do here if you're Steve, Steve Haywood? Yeah, I think you got to kick it right now. It is fourth down. Hunter Walker in the game to kick. Hunter Walker. What a great story last week. He had two touchbacks. Big number 80. Vaccaro will hold Hunter Walker to attempt a 28-yard field goal. Walker with the kick. And the kick is good. Great job by Vaccaro securing that low snap, getting the ball placed, and Hunter Walker pushes it through for CPA's initial score of the night. Absolutely. 28-yard field goal by Hunter Walker with 5.58 to go in the first half. Give CPA on the scoreboard. And now the defense, which has done better the last couple of drives, will come back out here. Yeah, they have. And I, I, I got to say, points are points, right? But I, I think that's a win for VA's defense right there, getting a stop in the red zone. Brentwood Academy will send back deep number 23, Colby Harmon, as I mentioned. Offers from several big-time schools. Along with number 27, Brax Belleville. Hunter Walker will kick off again with two touchbacks last week. Was huge. A senior with the left foot angling the ball into the end zone, and Hunter Walker does it again. How about that? That's awesome, man. And that, that field goal he just kicked was also, that would have been good for a couple more yards. I think Hunter's surprising himself with these long kicks. I, I think he is too, man. He was loose before the game. Gave me a little fist bump as I went by. <laughs> he and my son, Connor uh, Doherty, spent a lot of time in special teams rooms over the last few years. Connor now at MTSU. They're starting their season next weekend at James Madison. My wife and I happen to buy season tickets. <laughs> <laughs> First down and 10, Brentwood Academy from their own 20 yard line, McIntyre. Give goes the running back, looking for some room on the left side, excuse me, the right side of the formation. And that's Reed Madden, number 10, that comes up and makes the play. Gain of about six, second down and four. Yeah, that's a good first down run there for B.A., you know. Inch it closer for second down. 
CPA with a single high safety. Give goes the running back. CPA coming up. Trey Evans did a good job. Leroy Harris, the third, did a good job. But Deuce Scott able to get out of bounds. Big, tough run. Has another first down out to the 35. CPA had great positioning on that play. Yeah. He was just patient. The patience. He was able to wait on that, wait on those blocks to develop and get, get upfield. Again, Deuce got 22 carries, 95 yards, and three scores last week. Here's a quick throw with some room on the edge. Might have been able to get a holding call there. They don't get it. Witt Stout comes over. I see number 17, Will Carroll, out there at linebacker getting involved as well. Gain of seven out to the 42, second down and three. McIntyre, give goes Scott again, trying the left side, is stood up, still moving the pile, however, and gets across the 45 to the 46 with a first down. First man there, Charlie Ellis, number 53, couldn't wrap him up. Yeah, that was just a big physical run there, and that's a big first down. Steel Chance involved, he had seven tackles, and a tackle for a loss, just a sophomore. Here's McIntyre, wants to go deep down the seam, has a man at the 30, down to the 25, down to the 22-yard line with a first down. George McIntyre with a strike. Absolutely, and, you know, they ran the they ran the play fake and got a couple people to bite on CPA's defense and then open down the middle. Great throw. Luke Rabb, the tight end. B.A. in no hurry, 427 to go, first half on the move. That's the first big chunk play in that pass game from George McIntyre. Scott remains in the game at running back. McIntyre, give goes Scott, has some room inside the 20, inside the 15, puts his head down at the 10, has a first and goal at the seven-yard line. Deuce Scott just thundering away at that CPA defense. Yeah, he broke several tackles, and he's big and he's physical, man, and CBA is going to need to wrap him up. They were going to run it again as Easton Dillard came up, has some words for Deuce Scott, but CBA called a timeout before the snap, so with 4.02 to go in the first half, CPA leaking a little bit on defense, trying to slow down that Brentwood Academy offense. Yeah, this drive kind of looks like the first drive that B.A. had. They're, they're moving fast, and they're, they're getting first downs almost, it seems like, almost every play. Again, this offensive line from left to right, 6'3", 6'4", 6'4", 6'1", 6'4". Two seniors, three juniors. Then you add the tight end, Griffin Crop at 6'4", 215, a senior. You mentioned it right at the beginning of the game. That is a huge offensive line yeah well, I mean we talked about it that was going to be the story you know who's going to win the line of scrimmage and right now it seems to be BA and it's starting to show leaning on that CPA defense and the Brentwood Academy offense already out on the field they're ready to go yeah man they, they kind of got the you said earlier it looked like CPA had gotten the momentum and now it's kind of looks like it has shifted back to the Eagles side big number 40 Deuce Scott the running back Standing next to George McIntyre. I would anticipate more run play here. And there it is, Scott, to the five, stood up and taken down. There you go. That's what we like to see from CPA's defense. It's like Burklow lost his helmet. Hudson Chance, number 12, also involved. Brock Bettingfield running on after Burklow lost his helmet. A sophomore, number 44, into the game at linebacker. McIntyre back to throw. Looking toward the corner of the end zone. It's complete, but run out of bounds. Great coverage that time by number 22, Carter Kane, who had a great game last week, and Brentwood Academy has an offensive lineman that is down. Head coach Cody White walking out onto the field. Brentwood Academy instantly getting number 74, Jake Weber, into the game. 
as the crowd has gone quiet. He Great gets, coverage that time by Carter Kane. Absolutely. And because I think they, McIntyre wanted that play from the snap mm -hmm. as the running back leaked out. Yeah, and and it was a great throw to it was give a great him time throw. to get underneath the ball. They were trying to hit number six, Jordan Barnes, who is listed as a wide receiver. Doesn't look like one. I think that's Andrew Peterson down, number 77. A great football player. 6'4", 275-pound junior, the left guard. Again, standing room only crowd here at Brentwood Academy. The sun beginning to set behind us. Kind of a combustible day in Middle Tennessee today with some storms popping up in the area. Very hot day. But it has cooled off as Peterson gets up to a round of applause and will be helped off the field. So a big third down and two here. Yeah, and we'll and hope it, Peterson's okay. I, you hate to see people getting hurt, you know. It, CPA's defense coming back out onto the field, and this is a big series here. And at third and two, Cody White probably thinking in terms of two plays if you need them, I, which I means you may get a run play here. I would agree with that. I, to I see mean, what happens. Interesting formation. You got Deuce Scott out wide here. Yeah, we'll see if they motion him back in. McIntyre is by himself in the shotgun formation. CPA communicating on defense. McIntyre, here comes the blitz. McIntyre being chased. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown. What a throw. And there's that guy, Deuce Scott. You called it. Touchdown, Brentwood Academy. I, like you said, he does not look like a sophomore quarterback. Nope. The ability to stay composed there under the blitz, knowing you can't get away from it, and off his back foot fires like a shortstop to first base deep in the hole for the touchdown. Brentwood Academy with the extra point attempt, and that is good. With 3.20 to go in the first half, McIntyre with a two-yard touchdown pass finishes off an 80-yard drive McIntyre's fourth touchdown pass of this young season he has no interceptions this is a big possession right here for the Lions I'll tell you this, I've seen George McIntyre play basketball because my sophomore kid, Will Doherty, plays basketball. So I've seen quite a bit of him play basketball. He's an unbelievable basketball player. Unbelievable. Pretty good quarterback, too. Yeah. You can see why George McIntyre has offers from Michigan, Ole Miss, and Vanderbilt already among others. 6'5", 178. London Humphreys back deep. Joshua Marinick and Dre Evans. They'll go toward Dre Evans. There have been three touchbacks and make it another one. Actually, that's the third. Three touchbacks now. <laughs> so what do you think here, Brent? Do you think, you think CPA tries to Burn some of this clock and get into the end zone late. Keep well, BA's hands off the ball before the halftime. I think you run your offense here. You've got three minutes, 20 seconds left. Absolutely. You've got two timeouts left. You're in no hurry right now. I agree. You do want to score theoretically and preferably without leaving them much time. Mm -hmm. But the whole point of this drive is to get in the end zone. However that happens, whatever that looks like, <laughs> that's what needs to happen. I'd agree. Marinick is the running back. Vaccaro up talking to the line of scrimmage. Dre Evans at the bottom of your screen has a catch tonight. Vaccaro. There's an out route. 
Gets it complete out to the Braxton 25 Orr. to the 30. And that's Braxton Orr, who had a catch last week for 16 yards, and that gets CPA a first down, gets a moving and good play design there on the out route because you had Dre Absolutely. Evans in front blocking once that ball was received. And that's Braden Streeter in the game, that quarterback. It is, number 15. Fires complete across the middle. Close to a first down, just short gain of nine. And that's Braxton Orr again. Now CPA's moving faster now than we've seen them do in previous drives. You wonder if you take a deep shot to London Humphreys here on second and short. Streeter. Back Looks to that throw. way. And there's the out route, and that's complete. Into Brentwood Academy territory, and that is number 21, London Humphreys. Absolutely. 2.31 to go first half as CPA continues to move the football first and 10 at the 43. I'll tell you what, for coming in with two minutes to go in the half, Brady Streeter looks very confident and very solid. Might, might sprinkle in a run to Marinick here. Streeter was one for three last week for 29 yards, a big completion over the middle to Bo Burklow. Streeter back to throw. Brentwood Academy rushes four. He's got room on the right, on the left side. Fires deep down the field toward Dre Evans into the end zone and knocked away. That's the sophomore, Colby Harmon. Streeter wanted to take that deep shot. Might have had some room to run. It'll be second down. What about the arm strength right there? Against the body. Throw it about 50. Forty-five, anyway. Second down and ten. Ball in the middle of the field at the Brentwood Academy forty-three yard line. CPA trailing fourteen to three. Streeter organizing. Humphreys in motion. Streeter back to throw. Being pressured across the middle. It's intercepted. London Humphreys with the tackle. That's Jordan Barnes. The senior who flips the field and gets the turnover, and Brentwood Academy will look to put more on the board. Barnes shot out of a cannon right there. Gray read on the ball, jumps right in front of Bo Burklow, and that, that's, that's huge for Brentwood Academy. He totally baited Streeter into that throw. Great play by number six. Brentwood Big Academy will take over again. That's the free safety. Again, Jordan Barnes, a senior. Late sub there, Casey Kalmas coming into the game. And Brentwood Academy will call timeout. Minute 52 to go, that turnover is tough. Yeah, this is a big possession for CPA's defense. I mean, you would really not want to let BA go up you know, 21 to three and have to kick to them in the second half. It was second down and 10 at the Brentwood Academy 43 yard line. Streeter thought he had an underneath completion there. But Barnes with a great athletic play there. And keep in mind, big time tackle by London Humphreys, he might have scored. Yeah, I, I mean, and it's kind of the same story so far as Every time CBA seems to get a little bit of momentum, BA just snatches it right away. Cody White out on the field, 24. Kalmas back in. McIntyre by himself. Five receivers set here. Deuce Scott in the slot to the left side is wide open. But McIntyre can't see him. McIntyre up the sideline, but that's coming back. There's going to be a holding call. But did you see how open number 40 was? Yeah. Great I mean, pressure yeah. by CPA enables the defense to, to chase McIntyre away from that open receiver. Yeah, and also draw the holding call, which is that's huge right now. Brentwood Academy's had two big holding calls. The first one thwarted a drive and forced a punt. 
we'll see what happens with this one. But that was a big, big, big call. And that I mean, goes yeah. way back. It totally flips field position. It is first down and 32 yards. Josh Jennings flipping the side of the field. McIntyre being chased, spins out of a sack. Now looking, looking, and will run out of bounds. Minute 30 to go. Clock's still moving. Great coverage. Great, Great coverage. coverage. With Stout chasing. And there's that athletic ability, that basketball athletic ability. Uh, by, it by looks like time. Witt had him wrapped up, and he was able to avoid the sack and turn it into a positive game. Yeah, he got seven. It'll be second down and 25 from the 39-yard line. Two receivers either side. Single high safety. Here comes a blitz. There's a whistle that's blown. Looks like on the Eagles. That is a flag, and it is a false start. And it might actually be a good thing because Leroy Harris was about to blow that play up. So moving back five, that's second down and 30. And a lot of teams at this point, second down and 30, less than a minute to go, 11-point lead, getting the ball first to start the second half might just pack it up. I don't mm -hmm. think so with this kid. With that <laughs> I, mean, arm. I mean, we've seen a couple of big plays already. I, yeah. I, 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 don't think, I don't think that's the case with VA right now. And if you're CPA, if they do run it, do you call timeout? They do start the clock, 57 seconds, B.A. in no hurry. Haywood allowing that clock to run, and here comes Brentwood Academy. Same formation. We'll see if CPA blitzes. They do not. There's the running back, Scott, out to the 38-yard line. And the whistle sounds, and CPA did call timeout. There you go. So with 29 seconds left, it's going to be third down and a long way. 25, third down and 25. Takes me a minute, man. University of Tennessee math. <laughs> I took one math class in college. Part of the reason why I majored in broadcasting. Stay away from math. Yeah, I think we'll see B.A. What do you think? You think you'll see them run it again and try to waste another yeah. one of CPA's timeouts? I think you run it again, take CPA's last timeout. I, I would do that too. And then if you're CPA, maybe you throw a couple of deep balls to London Humphreys and see what happens. Absolutely. Again, great crowd on both sides. There are fans in both end zones, kids running around. I love that we're, we are into high school football Friday nights. Drew Clark is the analyst, a senior at CPA. How's school going? It's going good, man. I, obviously, I thought it was going to be you know, strenuous, but it's been a great year so far. Third and 25, McIntyre. Quick pass, that's Kane looking for room, is hit and snowed under at the 43-yard line. Haywood will call it CPA's last time out. And so with 21 seconds left, London Baronis will come onto the field again. His only punt today, he flipped the field completely. A long spiral over the head of Dawson Marrero. I'll tell you what, good job by Isaiah Kane there not going out of bounds. Right. Good looking athlete. And there's a, there's a replay there as, yeah, he cut it back inside. Absolutely. Stayed inbounds. Cruz Law over there. I see my man Corbin out there giving water to the officials. He's the best in the business at that. Big Corbo, speaking of the sixth grade football team, plays a big role. Plays travel baseball for the Mad Mavericks. And London Baronis will put his heels on his own 28-yard line. So let's count off how long this punt is. Moreno standing at his 15. 
So he's giving him 42 yards right now. Good snap. They'll go rugby style kick here. Not as good. But into the coverage and gets a great bounce inside the 15, inside the 10. Marrero picks it up and then is spun out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Six seconds left. What Smart do you think? play. It yeah, took a lot of time off the clock. I, yeah. I mean, what do you think here? You think if your CPA, you just take a knee and yep. take it at halftime? That's what I would do, but I'm standing up here with you. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I think with 21 on the field, you're always tempted to try something. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> We will take a full halftime break. Marinick is the running back. Vaccaro back out on the field. And he'll take a name. Marrero, excuse me, Marinick seen it behind him. And that'll end the first half. So a first half dominated by Brentwood Academy. Your score, Brentwood Academy 14, CPA 3. We'll be right back for second half action here at Brentwood Academy.
especially with one hand. We are ready for our second half action. Brent Doherty, Drew Clark, high above the field at Brentwood Academy. Brentwood Academy, a 14-3 lead. It all started with a one-yard touchdown run by Deuce Scott, who kind of dominated the flow of the game early, the running back uh, with the early score. CPA able to get a 28-yard field goal from Hunter Walker with 5.58 to go in the first half. 7-3 the score at that point, and then George McIntyre, a deep ball across the seam sets up a touchdown pass to Deuce Scott from two yards out, 14-3, to three, and CPA will kick off. Good coverage out around the 30-yard line, and Drew, it's going to be key for the CPA defense to figure out a way to slow down this Brentwood Academy offense. I mean, yeah. I mean, Brentwood Academy's offense, their offensive line has dominated this whole game. The CPA is going to have to do something up front to slow down that, that line and to keep them from pushing them back. George McIntyre has been very good at quarterback, completely in control, just a sophomore. And he is in the shotgun right now. McIntyre, give goes to running back, 35. Bounces outside, 40, 45, 50, foot race. Pulls over a defender, and down to the 42-yard line is Deuce Scott. He's big, had a night. Big physical back right there. I mean, that, that's we've seen this all night. And here they go, Eagles, moving quickly. First and ten. Give goes Scott again. This time, wrapped up and taken down to the 38-yard line. Looks like a successful defensive play. He got four yards. Second down at seven, McIntyre, shotgun formation. Give goes Deuce Scott, has a big hole. 35, 30, into the secondary, down to the 20 yard line. And now Deuce Scott is just thundering away at the CPA defense. Yeah, I mean that offensive line is continuing to get the push and open up holes for Deuce. CPA in that three, four. Give goes Scott up the middle, another big hole. To the 10, to the five. And into the end zone, Deuce Scott with a quick touchdown. And B.A. is on the scoreboard again. Yeah, almost untouched until inside the five there. I mean, that offensive line keeps opening it up. And just the miss, miss reads there by CPA and one missed tackle, and then Deuce was just gone. There was nothing but green grass in front of him. Deuce Scott from 20 yards out. Gets Brentwood Academy quickly into the end zone, and that lead balloons to 17. They'll try the extra point. As number 38, George Laster, will put a leg into it, and it is good. So with 10.43 to go in the third quarter, Brentwood Academy quickly down the field, takes a 21-3 lead. Deuce Scott's second touchdown of the night. Second touchdown run of the night. Yeah, I mean, he's been unstoppable so far in this game. But you're right, that offensive line for Brentwood Academy. Green, Peterson earlier, he went out with an injury. Gilmer, Simmons, Weber, all blowing out holes. This will be the biggest drive yet for CPA's offense. I mean, if you want to stay in the game, that's for sure. London Humphreys back deep. They've gone toward Dre Evans with each kickoff. Each time they put it in the end zone. London Baronis with the left foot. Tees the ball up on the left hash. And then goes straight down the hash marks. 
Baronis puts another big leg into it, and that ball goes through the end zone into the crowd. So the CPA offense, as you said, comes on with a big drive in front of it. Yeah, I mean, so far, the turning point of the game, when CPA looked like they were getting back in the game and getting things going, that was that big pick there by Barnes. That, that interception was huge. Barnes, number six, playing free safety. He's up on the uh, top hash mark. Communicating with his defense. Vaccaro is the quarterback, talking with his offensive line. Joshua Marinick, the running back. Ball at the 20-yard line. Give goes Marinick. Has some room, 20. Is shut off quickly but spills himself forward to the 25, gain of five. Yeah, nice positive gain there to start off this drive. And that was Barnes coming up to make the tackle. Appreciate you tuning in on the CPA YouTube network. And if people ask where to find it, please let them know. Brentwood Academy with like, I don't know, country night? A lot of cowboy hats down there. <laughs> T-Vac back to throw. Has time. Wants to go deep down the middle of the field. Humphreys oh, that. falling, yeah. and it's incomplete, but he does draw the flag from Kane. That's been a battle all night, 21 against three. Yeah, that was kind of a no-brainer right there. He kind of pulled Humphreys down from, from his shoulder pads, and that, that's going to draw the flag almost every time. See the replay here, and... With Humphreys, a lot of times, just see how far you can throw it. And T-Vac's got an arm. T-Vac again, Thomas Vaccaro wearing number 45, normally wears number five. That is Trip Lodge's number. Trip Lodge plays linebacker and was injured last week. So it's an honor to him, T-Vac wearing 45. We didn't know if he would wear it in the game. We saw him on the field before the game wearing the 45, but... He extended that into the game time. Absolutely, and Tripp just had his surgery on his ACL yesterday, so prayers to him and his family. First down and 10 at the 40. Brentwood Academy with four men on the line of scrimmage. There's a run play, 40 out to the 44-yard line. They'll mark him down at the 43. Just not a lot of room in the run game tonight. Brentwood Academy has done a good job bottling up Joshua Marinick, who had a big game last week. 14 carries, 117 yards, and a touchdown. It'll be second down and seven. The Brentwood Academy defensive coaches are right next to us. You may be able to hear them. t -back. Give goes the running back. Marinick. Tries to make a man miss. Gets out across to the 45 to the 46-yard line. It'll be third down and four. Another big third down here for the Lions. Bo Burklow has been a good third down uh, target. Might look for 16 here. Here comes Whist out with a two tight end set here. Asher Keck into the game, number 25. At running back on third down. Trey Evans to the bottom of your screen. Just one catch tonight. Has a lot of cushion down there. Now motioning toward the line of scrimmage. Cat gets the carry. Has a hole. Puts his shoulder down. Trying to get to the first down yardage. He's going to be just short, but you're going to have to go for this. Yeah, I think if CPA wants any chance to stay in this game, they're going to have to go for it and get a conversion here on fourth. Great run by Keck. Lowered his shoulder. Gave his offense a chance here. Fourth down and one. Vaccaro with a hard count does not get the jump. Keck remains in the game at running back, and CPA will call timeout with 7.45 to go. This is a big, big play in this football game. You have to pick this up. This this Brewwood Academy crowd is, is very loud right now, and 
I think CPA is going to need to get this this fourth down and get them out of the game. Try to get that momentum back that they had on that drive we saw before they threw the pick in the first half. This is where you challenge the offensive line on the sideline. And you tell them, you guys have to go get push. You guys have to go pick up this first down for us. Absolutely, because this game is not out of hand just yet. They're still in this game. Yep. A lot of clock left. And yep. you got to, yeah, this is, this is about heart right here on for the fourth down. Beautiful night for football in Nashville. Brentwood Academy, one of the storied football programs, one of the storied sports programs in this state. CPA, too. That's why we like this matchup. And it is fourth down and inches. They need to get right to the 50-yard line. Vaccaro. Well, they bunch formation here. He'll run it himself, puts his head down, and picks up the first down. Was that Hudson Chance or was that Vaccaro? Oh, that might have been Hudson Chance. Yeah, good point there. That was number 12, Hudson there Chance. Good go. call, Drew. And we've seen that in fall camp. Absolutely. Hudson Chance taking those short yardage situations. There is a flag that comes in very late. Very late. As Chance... Took a minute to get up. And we'll see what's going on here. This could be a big call right here. Billy Feldman talking it over with one of the officials. A huge call. CPA picks up the first down. Hudson Chance going over the left side of that offensive line. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike call on Brentwood Academy. So a huge penalty here. Here we so go. First down and 10 at the 47 becomes first down and 10 at the 32-yard line. Chance just put his head down. And then some extracurricular. They mark it at the 33. So first down and 10 at the 33-yard line. A huge pickup there by Hudson Chance. Great movement by the left side of that offensive line. And then a big penalty. Yeah, I mean, this is... Like we just said, this is a big a big drive for CPA, and it's even bigger now. t -back. with the hard count. Keck, again, into the game at running back for the first time this season. We'll take the handoff there, and that play is blown up in the backfield, but Keck breaks a tackle inside the 40, puts his head down at the 35-yard line, and gets eight out of that. I mean, he put his foot in the ground and exploded for the first down. Wow. Very close, if not. There's a player down for BA on the far side. There is an injured player over uh, by the numbers toward the CPA bench. What a play by Keck. And that's, that's what it's going to take if you want to get back in this football game, some second effort, because that play was blown up in the backfield. Looks like CPA has a player down as well. Yeah, you're right. Looks like both of them may be cramps. And as you said earlier, it, it, little rain showers, it's humid and... It's hot, especially on the turf. Really humid, important to stay hydrated for us too. Got water. <laughs> Thanks for everybody coming. Big drive in this football game. We talked about it last week. Good teams match scores with scores. Brentwood Academy came out of the gates quickly to start the second half, moved right down the field. The legs of Deuce Scott they get into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown, third touchdown overall tonight, a 20-yarder. They take an 18-point lead. CPA in desperate need of points with a fourth down and short situation near midfield. Hudson Chance able to take the ball, moving to his left, picks up a first down. B.A. gets a penalty, a 15-yarder, unsportsmanlike, which sets up this situation. The Keck run, good for eight, down to the 25 and it'll be second down and two. 
It looks like it was a cramp there for number 27, Brax Belleville for BA. As he's drinking water and we hope he's okay. Second down at two. Vaccaro. Dillard into the game. Vaccaro deep into the end zone, has a man. Incomplete. I don't know, that looked like he might have gotten a foot in bounds. Humphreys can't believe it. He has the football. Great throw by Vaccaro. Humphreys had some room there on the sideline, but evidently wasn't able to get the foot in bounds. Great time to take a deep shot there on second down and two. Boy, that was close. Fissel was right there. Sets up third down and two. Humphreys with a lot of room out here as well. Easton Dillard to running back number two. Big third down. Vaccaro, give goes Dillard, and he's bottled up in the backfield. That's Davis Green, number 56, a six foot three, 240 pound defensive lineman. No gain on that play, it's fourth down and two. Here comes the power and package you, again. You've got to go for it again. You're right, number 12, Hudson Chance, back into the game, a sophomore. A little bit longer to go on this. this uh, His on cousin this Steel time. Chance had, what, seven tackles last week? Still had a phenomenal game last week, and here's Hudson on a big fourth and two. Hudson Chance looking to go up the middle, cuts it back, dragging Brentwood Academy defenders all the way down to the 21-yard line. First down, CPA. And you heard, right when he got that first down, you heard this place get kind of silent. That's what CPA needs to do is get the crowd out of the game and continue to push the ball off the long drive, keeping Brentwood Academy's offense. Watch him put his left foot in the ground right there and then go back to the middle of the field. The last fourth down play, he just continued to barrel his way to the left. That time he cut (laughs) it back. First down and 10 as CPA continues this mammoth drive at the 22-yard line of Brentwood Academy, moving right to left toward the tree line. Vaccaro, man in motion. Give goes the running back. Down to the 21, gain of one. Tackle on the play, number 23, again, Colby Harmon. Kid can play. And if this this drive, yeah, if this drive finds the end zone, it'd be super good because CPA, first of all, keeps the ball out of BA's hands as much as possible. That's a great point. Keck back in the game at running back number 25. Your receivers, Dre Evans, London Humphreys, and Witt Stout now coming in. Trey Brown going out. CPA likes to run out of this formation. Now you've got Bo Burklow coming out wide to the left. t Give goes the running back. Nothing doing. Great play by the Brentwood Academy defense there to knock Keck backwards at the 22. Loss of one. Third down and 10. Third and 10 from the 22-yard line of Brentwood Academy. CPA. Trying to continue the drive. Easton Dillard, number two, the running back. Clock taking inside four minutes to go. Big play here. CPA has had the ball for more than six minutes on this drive. TVAC back to throw, pressured, fires toward the sideline, complete at the six yard line. They'll mark him out at the seven. That's London Humphreys. And a long throw by Thomas Vaccaro on third and 10 converts. Kind of a gutsy play call right there. I mean, that ball was in the air for a long time. That is a tough throw throw to the wide side of the field. Fantastic throw and great job by Humphreys keeping both feet in bounds. First and goal from the seven yard line. Easton Dillard is the running back. Keck is in front of him. Bo Perklow in front of him. Vaccaro will keep it. That's Hudson Chance. Inside the five down to the three. Big number 12. Yeah, and it looks like CPA is starting to find how they can get the run game going with with Hudson Chance. 
And this is a confidence builder for this offensive line, too, if they can get the ball into the end zone. They've had some lean on this drive. Yeah, Hudson Chance still in the game. Dillard next to him. Chance will follow Dillard. Will cut back. Driving his way toward the end zone. Hudson Chance is in. Brentwood Academy had that stacked up at the line, but Hudson Chance breaks two tackles and then carries a man into the end zone. Touchdown, CPA. Yeah, and this team and this crowd for the Lions is fired up. That is a big momentum builder right there, and I hope to see that carry on to the defense. Hudson Chance, a three-yard touchdown run. Hunter Walker on to attempt the extra point. The snap is good. The hold is good, and the kick, two is good. So with 3.02 left in the third quarter, CPA cuts the Brentwood Academy lead to 21 to 10. And Drew, you mentioned it, CPA able to keep the ball out of Brentwood Academy's offense's hands almost eight minutes on that drive. Yeah, but now you know, still down two scores, you gotta come up with a couple defensive stops. And that's been the challenge here for CPA's defense is to get off the field without allowing points. Two fourth down conversions by Hudson Chance and then the three yard touchdown run. Thought we might see more of that last week, did not. Good to see Hudson out there. They call him Huddy. And Huddy gets into the end zone. Just a sophomore. Hey. And the CPA students you said thought they weren't loud enough in the first half. Yeah, they, I, I talked to some students at halftime saying that they, they needed to get up, they needed something to cheer for, and right now we're hearing a lot of them right now, which the, is fantastic momentum builder, I think, for this team. They're, they're loud now. <laughs> and here comes the kickoff. As Walker gets it down to the five-yard line, Brentwood Academy with some room here, and CPA historically good on special teams coverage and they're good again out to the 23 yard line and here we go here's this drive that his defense really needs i think they can build off of this momentum that the offense just got and i'm excited to see how they play we will we, see uh brock bettingfield the sophomore in the game at middle linebacker and a big drive for the defense, as you mentioned. But here's the other thing about a seven-minute and 46-yard drive, uh, seven-minute and 46-second drive by your offense, mm -hmm. your defense was on the sideline. Absolutely. Resting. Burwood Academy likes to move fast. Deuce Scott, the running back, next to George McIntyre. Single high safety from CPA. And there's the run play. And that time he stood up. That was Brock Bettingfield. What a tackle. Big number 44, Brock Bettingfield, who is a heck of a catcher, which I know you can appreciate. <laughs> yes, sir. Drew Clark, a heck of a catcher in his own right. Gain of four, second down at six. McIntyre looking down the middle of the field, has a man complete. Out to midfield, what a throw. That's number 21, Luke Wells. Able to get open in the middle. Safety help was coming, but that was a rifle shot. I mean, because Deuce Scott has been so effective on the ground, that play actually fooled CPA's defense. Jackson Matthews able to get over there. Deuce Scott now up the middle. Has five, has seven. To the CPA 43-yard line. Lion defense has to stand up here. B.A. Fake the handoff. McIntyre looking, looking, being pressured, escaping to his right, looking down the field, fires incomplete near no one. Cruz Law belted George McIntyre near the sideline. They're going to call Cruz Law for the late hit there. Kind of a late flag there. It looked like B.A.'s sideline had a little bit of influence on that call. That is a big penalty. They call roughing the passer. They'll mark it all the way down inside the 30. And he'll stop at the 28-yard line, first down and 10. 
Very impressed with number 12. Just a sophomore, six foot five, but again, very athletic. First and 10, Deuce Scott, the running back next to McIntyre. CPA moving around up front. Scott looking for room, pushing his way down to the 25, down to the 20 before he's taken down by number 17, Will Carroll. Uh, the CPA defensive line is having a tough time taking him down on initial contact. His yards after contact are really high in this game. Steel chance back in the game at linebacker. There's a ball that slips out of the hand of George McIntyre. It looked like it might have gone backwards. The CPA crowd wants that to be called a fumble. Cruz Law has it. They'll call it incomplete. You mentioned it. It's humid out here. Yeah, I mean. A little wet ball drill there. Yeah, I mean, again, the whistle came in a little later, but. You know, that's, that's, that's another big, that's, a, that's a, still a win for CPA because now it's third down. Third down and two. My guess is a whole lot of Deuce Scott here. And there he is, number 40. He puts his head stood down and up. stood up. And the CPA defense holds. He's short. He's short. Let's see where they spot it. The line judge initially ran in short of the first down marker, and then he kind of rounded his run off. Wow. And it'll be a first down. Great hit by Bo Burklow. Steel Chance finishes him off, but they give him the first down. He needed two, he got three. McIntyre. Give goes Scott. Look in the right sideline, or the right side of the formation. Cruz Law, Bo Burklow with the tackle. Not much there. Gain of maybe one at the 16-yard line. They'll give him two. Second down and eight. Easton Dillard in at linebacker. A lot of linebackers on this team. They're able to substitute pretty well, which will help as the season moves on. And that's the end of the third quarter. So a big second down and eight coming up as Brentwood Academy is trying to put more points on the board. CPA with the last touchdown cuts the lead to 21 to 10, and that's where we are as we end play in the third quarter. Brent Doherty, Drew Clark with you, CPA YouTube Network. We're ready to begin playing the fourth quarter. Brent Doherty, Drew Clark with you. Second down and eight, Brentwood Academy at the CPA 16 yard line leading 21 to 10. Give goes to Scott, looking for room. Doesn't have any initially, but his breaking tackles inside the 10 down to the eight yard line. That is a bowling ball of a running back. And he has Brentwood Academy inside a goal to goal situation, I believe. Well, you saw one of the offensive linemen kind of grab him and pull him forward as well. I mean, that, that offensive line is playing incredible tonight. First and goal, Brentwood Academy. Scott, again, is hit, gets down to the five-yard line. Easton Dillard in there. Also number 56, Brady Smith, just a sophomore. Good to see him involved. Playing nose tackle, trying to hold up against that huge offensive line from Brentwood Academy. McIntyre, give goes Scott up the middle, pushing his way 
into the end zone for his third rushing touchdown of the night. Deuce Scott. A five-yard touchdown run. It's 27 to 10. Injured, injured lion. It looks like Leroy Harris is down on the far side of the field over there. Looks like cramps again. So Deuce Scott tonight, a one-yard touchdown run, a two-yard touchdown reception, a 20-yard touchdown run, and a five-yard touchdown run. Kid is out of night. I mean, he's been running right, like, he's been running behind his pads all night, breaking tackles. The Lions have done a great job getting to him initially on the line. He's just breaking tackles and getting upfield. Laster on to attempt the extra point. He's perfect. Three for three tonight. Snap is good. The hold is good. And that extra point is drilled through the uprights. And with 10.54 to go in this football game, CPA now trails 28 to 10. Another big offensive possession. Can't keep it for 7.46 on this one. Got to score quickly. See Randy Heron over there talking to the football team. That's always a good thing. Spoke with him before the game. Love that guy. If you want to hear the truth, listen to Randy Heron talk. Ideally, you would like to see any of these three returners get a chance here. The problem is London Baronis standing 60 yards away from the goal line when he kicks this ball. Normally kicks it about 70. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's kicked the ball very well. And, you know, Hunter Walker's had a good night as well. For CBA. Yeah, 28-yard field goal. has kicked it well when he is kicked off. And there goes London Baronis again through the back of the end zone as he looks toward his sideline, nodding his head. What are you thinking here? Are you thinking the CPA is going to need a little bit more urgency than they had last time? A little more urgency. Going to have to throw the football here. Get up on it quickly. Going to need a chunk play or two. Need to score quickly. Looks like Streeter will be the quarterback again. Braden Streeter into the game at quarterback number 15. One for three for 29 yards last week. Threw a good ball, but a great play by Brentwood Academy earlier with an interception. And there's a run play to the right that does not go anywhere. That's Marinick to the original line of scrimmage. Was that Marrero on the carry? That was, that was Marinick. There's yeah, it was Marinick, you're right. Two injured Eagles. A lot of cramps is what it looks That's like. That's a cramp for sure. Out of the game, Richard Griffin, number seven. And here's another one. Two on the same play. Peter Husband, number 52. The Brentwood Academy coaches seem to think that a deep shot is coming here. Am I out of turn, given that information? Comes Shanks in motion. Second down at 10, and here comes the deep ball. London Humphreys trying to track it down and can't. Kane all over him. That's been a good matchup tonight. The Brentwood Academy coaches saw that. Kane had him man to man. I mean, he's, and Streeter he's somehow overthrew London Humphreys, which I didn't think was possible. 
Kane is running very well with one and Humphreys, and, and that's something that we haven't seen a whole lot nope. of. It's a great point. Third down and 10. Humphreys remains in the game at the bottom of your screen. Running back is Easton Dillard. Streeter, the quarterback in the fourth quarter, 10-18 to go. 28 to 10, Brentwood Academy. Humphreys in motion right to left. Two receivers now on that side. Tight end to the right side of the formation, and now CPA will call a timeout. Coach Haywood urging his offense to get over there quickly so he can chat with them. This is a good football team, Brentwood Academy. They're going to win a lot of games this year. Next week, CPA travels to PGA. Yeah, BGA, BGA had a tough uh, tough game last night as they fell to Ravenwood, but, you know, BGA, BGA has historically been a good game with CPA a couple years ago, you know, state championship game. And uh, they've had good players like C.J. Beathard and a ton of people like that come through. Yeah. C.J. Beathard still in the NFL. Great dude. Yeah. Great family. Speaking of the NFL, you know, B.A. has produced Jalen Ramsey, <laughs> who is. He wasn't bad. <laughs> not bad at Still all. Still not. <laughs> I mean, he's got, you know, Super Bowl championship right there. Yep. CPA able to beat Brentwood Academy last year. Innsworth, NBA, all in the same season. Third down and 10. Streeter fakes the handoff. Here comes the blitz. Streeter off the back foot. Fires toward the sideline. A great throw. Caught by London Humphreys at the 41-yard line. He beat Kane on that one. But a great throw by Braden Streeter. Absolutely, from his back foot, too. Yeah, being pressured. Hit as he delivered. Sets up first down and 10. You'll see it here, pressure from number four. And Humphreys got out of bounds, which is big for CPA. First and 10. Streeter fires across the middle, complete. That's Orr's third catch of the night. Out to the 48-yard line, sets up a second down and three. <laughs> I like it when the coaches go beyond using the microphone. It just yelled at the sideline. Or ask him where to go. They send it back to the left side of the formation. Streeter on second down and three. Fires out route incomplete. He wanted London Humphreys and just overshot him. I mean, just a little bit, you know, out of reach on one of the but, you know, incompletions right now are not the worst thing for CPA. The clock stops. They have more time. I think Streeter will want that one back, though, because Kane gave cushion there. He just Absolutely. threw it maybe a beat too early. And that would have been a first down, and Humphreys would have gotten out of bounds if would have stopped the clock. Third down and three. Streeter with a hard count. Brentwood Academy stays. Streeter communicating up front. Give goes the running back. Spinning his way toward the 49-yard line. Going to be close. That's Joshua Marinick, who spun the football for the necessary yardage. Big first down there. Nice call by Coach Haywood. Absolutely. That's, that is a big play. And now I'd like to see you know, a couple more pass plays get the ball down the field, and score because CPA in need of three scores now. Watch Bo Burklow here. Reed Shanks is wide to the right. Burklow just inside him. They fake the handoff. Wants to take a deep shot down the left sideline or the left hash mark, and the ball is caught at the two-yard line. What a throw by Braden Streeter. Sets up a first down and goal. A beautiful ball by Streeter all the way down to the two-yard line. A great job by Humphreys to hang on to that ball with a you know, pretty decent coverage, I would say. Easton Dillard, the running back. And that's Hudson Chance. Pounding his way toward the goal line. Did he get in? Yes, touchdown CPA. 
Hudson Chance's second of the night. So the deep shot to London Humphreys, and as you said, his ability to shield the defender and catch the football over his shoulder, kind of a basketball play, sets up that touchdown. Absolutely, and now it's back to a two-possession game with 8.32 to go here. We're going to need to see the defense step up and make those plays. Hunter Walker is true right down the middle of the field. So 28-17 with 8.32 left in this football game. Hudson Chance now with two touchdowns in the second half. Couple of fourth down conversions. I like that short yardage package that we're seeing. Left side of the offensive line just blowing through. Didn't need, and that's the thing. Hudson Chance doesn't need much room to get enough push to get it into the end zone. And CPA pulls within two scores again. Down 11. Would take a touchdown, a two-point conversion, and a field goal to tie this game. Hudson Walker will kick off. He likes to place the ball in the middle of the field. Brentwood Academy looking to get good field position, 23 and 27 back deep. And that'll be 27, Brax Belleville out across the 15, fails to get to the 20 yard line. Great coverage by CPA again to the 19. First down and 10. Brentwood Academy has been able to move the ball at will in the second half, and it's been Deuce Scott, the running back, primarily. Four touchdowns tonight, three on the ground. Also has a two-yard reception. Eight twenty-four to go. You have to... You have to stop number 40 here. CPA cramming it up, and not much there. Hudson Chance involved. Cruz Law involved. Out to the 23. Gain of about four. Second down at six. So you look up. You think you stop him. He gets four yards. It's crazy. Again, appreciate the people at Brentwood Academy hosting us, giving us space to bring you this broadcast. Brent Doherty, Drew Clark with you. George McIntyre has gone all the way at quarterback for Brentwood Academy. Deuce Scott, it looked like he bobbled the football there. He's tackled, not much doing. Hudson Chance in there, Cruz Law in there. This is a big play in this football game. 73, James Walters also mucking it up. Third down and five. No way you go for this if you're Brentwood Academy. Leading by two scores. Got to make a stop here. Three down linemen. McIntyre. Barking the signal. And now they'll get a delay of game call. So back them up five. That turns it into third and ten. Lion players urging, as you said, the crowd to get into it. James Walter, 73, waving his hands in the air. Trey Evans doing the same. trying to get first down here I trust my quarterback the interesting thing though is that the CPA crowd is right at the line of scrimmage that's why the noise is bothering them four on the play clock and Brentwood Academy coach Cody White's gonna have to take a timeout the crowd is affecting this game on the road
650 to go in this football game. How about that? CPA's crowd telling you at halftime they weren't loud enough in the first half and now affecting this game on the road. Third down and 10. George McIntyre. They haven't been able to get to him. They've been able to pressure him, but haven't been able to get to him. Third down and 10. CPA does not show blitz. Scott moves to the left side. McIntyre back to throw. Fires wide open at the 30. And that's going to be a first down. An unaccounted for receiver on third down and 10, and they pick up the first down. Massive play. Josh Jennings over there to make the tackle. And he stayed in bounds once again. That's a big play. A breakdown in coverage on the right side. And McIntyre is so good at scanning the field, able to find it. First down and 10, and they'll be able to take a lot more time off the clock. 6.20 to go in the football game. 28 to 17. Brentwood Academy with the lead. CPA trying to stay in it. Here's the same play. 35 out to the 39-yard line. Out to the 40-yard line. Gain of nine from number nine, Neo Clifton. Waving anymore for that CPA defense. That that third down conversion was gigantic. Neo Clifton had a big game last week. That's his first catch tonight that I've seen. Five carries, 71 yards, and a touchdown. Give goes the running back out across the 40-yard line, and that's Deuce Scott. And now I would anticipate as we get close to five minutes to go, you're going to see a lot of Deuce Scott. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. I mean, there's not a ton of time. I think B.A. just kind of kind of run this clock out, and that third down conversion, as we saw, was gigantic. Massive breakdown in coverage on that play, and it's a learning experience. A lot of young players out there on this defense, and it's good to play teams like this because – it really doesn't matter how you're playing. You want to play well, obviously, every week, but it really doesn't matter in the greater scheme of things. It matters how you're playing, how you're doing, come playoff time. I mean, absolutely. And we saw, you know, CPA was still, they're still in this game. I mean, they were still in this game a couple plays ago, and it's just big to see them keep all the gut of this team. CPA players still flying around on defense. That's Deuce Scott again out to the 47 yard line, gain of four. It'll be second down and six. 4.33 to go. CPA with one timeout left. Bo Burklow on the play. He's had a big night on defense. We've called 11 and 12 a lot on defense. Hudson Chance and Cruz Law. Greenwood Academy running that offensive line up to the line of scrimmage. Player of the game, Deuce Scott. You have to talk about that offensive line, though. And you, you mentioned it right out of the beginning of the game. Here comes Easton Dillard shooting in there. Gain of about two out to the 50. It'll be third down and three. Here comes another big play as we take under four minutes. And yeah, and you mentioned before the, or you mentioned a couple of drives ago how you know historic this BA program is. And they don't lose a lot of games. And they're coming off of a loss last week and a loss to CPA last year. You know, they, were, they were ready for this game, and they've – Dominated the line of scrimmage all night. Uh, you know, it's shown. It's shown on the scoreboard. Impressed with the senior running back, Goose Scott, six foot, two hundred pounds. George McIntyre, a sophomore quarterback, has been very cool in the backfield. And Goose Scott puts his head down and has the BA first down. So at three nineteen to go, not a lot CPA can do about it with one timeout left. Yeah, and that about wraps this game up. I, we're going to see a whole lot of Juice Scott here in the last couple minutes. But, I mean, I, I really do like how CPA came out in the second half after giving up an early touchdown. 
you know, they, they played very hard, and, you know, the VA is just, their O-line was just too much. Saw some uh, deep shot balls to um, London Humphreys. Saw that short yardage run game with Hudson Chance. Hunter Walker performed well. And you watch tape, you learn, and you go back at it next week against B BGA. And I like that opponent coming off a game like this. Cody White telling his offense to hang on. 20 on the play clock. They're in no hurry. 2.48 to go in the football game. Throwing Academy, first down and 10 at the CPA, 46-yard line, leading 28 to 17. Deuce Scott has been the difference, no question about it. And he'll get it again. And this time he's hit hard. And brought down. Big number 53, Charlie Ellis getting involved. Witt Stout, number six. Gain of three, second down and seven. If you can get a stop here on this play, that's where you use your last time out. I mean, I would, I would agree. I, I just, <laughs> you know, we're about to see this guy once again. And so if they can, you know, technically the game's not completely out of hand. They can call a timeout. They can get a stop on uh, third down and then maybe get the ball back, try to score a quick touchdown, and then maybe an onside kick. But that's a lot of things that have to go right. Are you trying to make a prediction that Deuce Scott's going to see the football here? Absolutely. <laughs> Way to go out on a limb there, Drew Clark. And he's not. They're going to throw it. Inside the 35, down to the 32 yard line. That goes number 21, Luke Wells. And that's another Brentwood Academy first down, and that'll do it. Good call. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that probably shocked the whole defensive line as well. So that. Uh, Good play call, gutsy play call, because the incompletion would have you know, changed the game a little bit, but that that you're right. That's going to put the nail in the coffin, and uh, CPA is going to need to move on to next week. Minute 20 to go, clock taking. Carter Kane out of the game. Dre Evans back in. First and 10. Deuce Scott, the running back, to the left of the sophomore quarterback. Again, six foot five, 180. And there's Scott. Bounces off a tackler, puts a move on at the 25, puts his head down at the 15, and that's Josh Jennings who gets him down at the 14-yard line. Well, they say he stepped out of bounds at the 17. It's still a first down with 57 seconds left. Yeah, and, and the clock will stop. But, you know, I would expect them to take this guy out of the game, and it looks like they will. We're going to see another, another running back that we haven't seen a whole lot of. But. Deuce Scott, as you said, player of the game. 57 seconds left. I think you'll see the victory formation here is what you'll see. As Brentwood Academy comes to the line, George McIntyre surrounded by teammates. CPA can stop it once if they want to. McIntyre will hold it. He'll take a knee. Easton Dillard comes flying in there. Gives a little love pat to McIntyre who returns the favor. And the clock ticks under 50 seconds. CPA will go to one and one, as will Brentwood Academy. CPA on the road again next week at Battleground Academy. We hope to see you all out there. Great crowd again in support of the Lions tonight. Good luck to the Nolensville Little Leaguers with multiple CPA kids on that team. Nash Carter, who is new to the school in sixth grade, Grayson May, Wright Martin, all on that Nolensville Little League team trying to win a national championship tomorrow and then a Little League World Series championship on Sunday. Good luck to them. As the clock ticks down to zeros, the handshake line forms, and Brentwood Academy comes out of this thing with a 28 to 17 win. Again, a lot of Deuce Scott. Yeah, I mean, it was all, this game was a lot of this guy and a lot of the offensive line. You know, B.A., like I said several times through the broadcast, dominated. I mean, and I mean dominated the line of scrimmage, and that's why they're victorious. Fun night of high school football. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We appreciate you watching. For Drew Clark, I'm Brent Doherty. Good night. God bless.